All right, let's get a video on how to mill one of our Bruxer now blocks. Every Bruxer now block comes in a box like this. And inside, you're gonna see that there are three pucks along with a burr for every single one of those pucks. You change the burr for every single use because if you try to reuse one, it'll break and you're gonna get a, a ruined crown. The burrs and the blocks go inside this machine right here. I'm going to show you how to change that in a second. First thing on our schedule, we're going to have our patients, and then we need to go ahead and mill. So in the mill control panel, when you find your patient that you're ready to mill, you hit the play button right here. We're going to see a couple different things here. It's going to ask us to go ahead and change the block. And for that, we're going to grab the block. This block has a notch on the bottom and a screw hole on one side as well. This can only fit into the holder in one direction. We're going to grab our yellow and black handle. We're going to open this. And as we place this in there, the lettering will go towards the burr. You'll see here, it doesn't fit like that. As I turn it, it drops in. And then we will go ahead and tighten this screw nut right here, and that tightens right into that slot right there. You can't put this in wrong, it can only go one way. So we'll go ahead and tighten that, and give it a firm tighten, and that's it. Back to the computer, we'll click OK. And now it's going to ask me to change the burr. This part gets tricky. The burr requires a breakaway wrench like this. And if you just spin this chuck right here, it won't really do anything. You can't un unscrew that. You have to lock it by hitting this button first. As you hit that button and spin it, it'll now lock. That button went in. So as you can see here, as I spin it, it will lock. Now we need to remove the old burr. Don't hold it on the end of the handle quite yet. You want to hold this towards the end right now and engage that and turn it upwards to loosen like that. After it loosens, you can remain, you can loosen the rest with your hand, and pull out that old burr and throw it away. Grab your new burr, insert it into the chuck the whole way. Remember, you can't just tighten it like that. You have to push, and it'll eventually lock like that. Now, here's where you want your breakaway wrench. In this situation, I am going to hold it on the end, and you'll see why. Hold that with your thumb until it's locked. Keep your thumb on that button. And now, as I turn this, when it hits the appropriate torque, this wrench will actually start to bend downwards like that. That's how I know we're done. Once it starts to bend, you can stop. Now the burr is in place. We'll hit OK. Now, this is also asking us to change the coolant. You don't have to change the coolant every single time. You get about four to five mils before you have to change the coolant. The computer will tell you when you have to do that. This part can get messy. Coolant stays in this tray down here. Work on this side. There's a release button right down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to push that release button and pull this tray out. And we're going to take this to the back. And I'm going to show you how to change the coolant. Careful, this thing is full of water. You can pause that now. All right. First thing we have to do is we have to dump out the old coolant. Make sure you have a clear sink. Remove your filter. I'm going to rinse this under the water. You can see those Arconia particles are on here, and that's what I'm washing away. I'm going to wash that out. Put that inside. And this is all dirty water in here. I shouldn't say dirty, it actually just has Arconia particles mixed in with it. So I need to drain that. There is a drain plug right here that you can uncap and then start to drain all of that water out.
you really want to, if you look inside here, just can you zoom in here? This is still covered in zirconia particles. We need to rinse this clean. Water. Pour it out a few different times. Inside here, there's a filter, and there's a filter holder right here. We're going to lift that filter holder, and we're going to pull that filter out. And we're going to rinse this clean. Well. Careful not to damage the hose that it's connected to. Alright, then what we'll do is we're going to lift that holder and just slide that back in underneath. Stable and secure. We're going to put our plug back in there and we're going to take our flour and we're going to start to fill. Before we finish filling, we have a bottle of coolant. Each of these bottles will do two fills entirely and it has a line here, so we've already used this once. Now I'm going to use the remaining half of this bottle. Open that up and just gonna pour the whole thing in here. And that is the coolant that's gonna help cool and lubricate the burn. Now we'll fill this to the top. And I'll put my screen on here. I'm gonna fill this with water all the way until the top. Take this back now. Now we're going to reinsert this into the machine. Replace this. Be careful holding it. It does get a little heavy. We'll push up the whole way in. Once it's inserted, the machine will circulate a little bit. And we can see that it has started the process. Since I'd already hit play once, it just automatically started continuing. You can change that coolant in advance if you would like, instead of starting a mill, you can click the change coolant button right here, and it will let you go ahead and change it ahead of time. In this situation, it just happened to be during the process. Once the machine starts, you want to verify that it starts cutting, and it should be spraying a lot of water. You can see how much water is spraying there. That keeps the burr cool and keeps things from breaking. If you don't see there's a lot of water, then you might not have enough coolant or you might have a clogged filter. And remember that for this machine to run, you have to have the air compressor running as well. Now we'll wait about 40 to 50 minutes for this to mill, and then we'll come back to it.